Photosynth users, so I want to walk through a new addition to your design tab in phone sites. I'm just going to go into a random funnel in here that I use just for testing stuff out for folks. And let's just go ahead and create a, a brand new page here. And I'll just use uh, this first page here. Okay, so now that's set up. I want to point your attention to this new option here at the top under the design tab. And it says add navigation. Now, if we click through this, what this is going to do, this is going to set up navigation on our page here. So right now you can't see it, and that's because I chose the template that has a black background, and currently uh, the default is for the navigation at the top to be black. But let's go ahead and change this to a different color. Let's just pick uh, this random red color here. And then we can change our font color as well. Um, I'm going to keep it as white, but I could put it at you know yellow or orange or something like that. I'm just going to keep it white because white on red is going to look nice. And then, of course, you could paginate forward to select different colors. But let's stick with white. And then you've got um, this option here to hide the navigation if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and add my links. So let's go ahead and add in a link here. Now, I highly suggest sticking to one to three links that you're adding at the top uh, just so that it looks nice on mobile. If you add something that's, uh, you know, like five or six or ten links, then it's going to look a little odd. So I would just stick with one to three. So after I selected add link, I've got these two fields here. This option over here on the left, this is going to be the actual text that shows up, as you can see over here on the right. This will be the text that shows up. So let's just call this, uh, this could be like home. Right. And then we could set whatever URL we want in here. So make sure you put in the HTTPS. Now, if you see what's in my cursor right here in the field, uh, this is just like suggested is just let you know, put in the HTTPS. Um, but if you hover over this little link icon, you're going to get uh, clarification. It says this is the link URL. Either use a full URL, which I'm about to do, or a local URL that starts with a forward slash. So what that means is um, a local URL would be like another page in your phone site's site, right? So like if you created a thank you page, um, well, you wouldn't want to put uh, navigation to a thank you page up here. But like if you were creating a website that had like three or four pages put together, maybe one of them was like um, contact us or something like that, uh, where they or, you know, book, book an appointment actually, where they could book an appointment. And maybe the page you were creating, um, it was... Uh, phone size.com forward slash schedule, right? So then in this case, you could put in forward slash schedule and it would go to that page whenever someone clicked that link. But for right now, let's just put in a full URL and then we'll get around to adding in another page and I'll show you exactly how that's going to work. So let's just put in here um, HTTPS phone size.com. Let's save that. And let's go ahead and create that other page. It's going to be like a, a scheduling page, okay? So I'm going to go back to my site real quick. So I can add in another page. Add in a new page. Let's say, let's just use that one right there. Let's just change the page URL to be schedule. So now that I have that set up for the page URL of being scheduled, and you can see up here it's forward slash schedule, I can go back to that other page that we were just working on here. It was this black template page. Actually, let me rename this. And then if I wanted to put in, you know, a Calendly embed or schedule once or something like that in here for someone to be able to schedule through, they could. But I'm not going to do that. That's not the purpose of this video. Let's just go back to that first page, the black template page here. And let's add in our uh, second link. So this is now going to be linking to um, our schedule page. Now, if you think this is not clear enough for someone um, to understand, uh, you can always change this to be something like, you know, book an appointment or something like that. Just keep in mind that you're only going to be able to, to fit so much up here on mobile. So just keep it kind of short, right? So I'm just going to keep it as book an appointment, and then maybe let's add yet another link in here. Um, this one could be, what do we want to put in here? Uh, like main website or uh, something like that. A portfolio. Let's put in portfolio, sure. And let's just assume that I already set up a portfolio page in 
insights, which I didn't, but let's just pretend. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and let's open this up in a new tab. So there you go. So now you've got your menu bar at the top, your navigation bar. And so if I were to click through home here, so let's go ahead and do that. This is just gonna take me to phonesites.com because that is the URL that I put into uh, the field here in the uh, design tab. But if I, if I had an actual homepage set up for this site, uh, then I could set it to go to that homepage, right? Okay, and let's click through book an appointment. So that's gonna take me to that schedule page that I had set up. And then of course, for each page that you create in here, you'll, you'll wanna set up a navigation. Now, quick tip, probably what you're gonna to wanna to do here is um, create your first page that has your navigation set up exactly how you want it, and then copy these pages over. So you could go in and click on settings here and then copy the page. And the reason for that is because all of the formatting that you set up here for like your, your color, of your background, your uh, the text that you use, the color of the, the, the text and so forth. Um, it's just easier if you copy each one of those pages over. Um, then you'd have to go in for the new copied pages and adjust, uh, like for the, the, the book and appointment page, you'd have to go in and, and adjust under the settings tab. You have to make that to be, uh, to do, this is the, the first page. You'd have to go in and adjust uh, the page URL after you've made that copy. Okay, so next thing that I wanna show really quickly here is you can add in a logo as well into the navigation. So you got this logo field up here, click into no image. You could of course add in the link to an image if you have the image uh, stored elsewhere, but I definitely suggest um, uploading that into the phone sites gallery and using that. So let's go ahead and click on no image here. And let's just assume that I wanted to select uh, this Toledo Muttons logo there. Okay, and insert. All right, and now I've got it. Um, the default is left aligned. You can change this to be right aligned, or you could put it in the center, and that's just going to put it on top of those uh, uh, the, the 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 links that your navigation options at the top. But I'm going to put this to be, let's say, uh, right aligned here. Okay, and now the next step is let's just go ahead and view this. Let's save that. So there you go. So that looks nice. Now I could put a link um, with this logo. So if I wanted, uh, I could give them another option to, to, to click through here to go back to the homepage if I want to, or I could have it go somewhere else entirely. So right here under the, the logo option where this is the, this is the link to the image itself. So since it's on the, the phone sites server here, um, this is the link directly from, from where it is there. But if you had found the image somewhere else, like maybe you have, a server of your own, you're saving it there, you could use that link. But this is going to be the field that you'll want to put in a link for if someone's to click through this logo, it's going to go somewhere else. So let's just, for the sake of things here, let's just put um, phone sites URL on here. And then you could put in a description as well. So you could call this uh, like, uh, I don't know, homepage or something like that. Okay, let's refresh this real quick. And then now if I click through this, it's going to take me to phonesize.com. But again, you could add it to whatever, you, you could add whatever URL you want this to be redirecting to. Okay, so next option here is, you don't like the size of your logo here, you can change this. You can make it uh, medium, large, extra large. I would tend to keep it between small and medium. Let's just go ahead and put it on medium and then save that. And then another option here, which is new is you can keep this as square, but you can also round the corners. So rounded one is gonna be a slight round, rounded two is gonna be a little bit more, and then circle is going to uh, make this more circular in nature. Now, bear in mind though, um, the length, or sorry, the, uh, the width of my image is exceeding the height of my image. So it's not gonna be a perfect circle, it's gonna be more like an oval. But if you had, if your original image was a perfect square, then your, image when selecting circle is going to be perfect circle. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just pick rounded two here. Okay, save that. Refresh the page here and boom, there you go. So nice looking logo up at the top. And as I was suggesting earlier, you can just, once you get that all set up, you could go in and easily copy this over to the next page if you wanted to. Let's just delete this schedule here. The reason why I'm deleting that is because now I want to make this new page that I just copied. Let's make that our schedule page.
save that. And I'm just going to copy the code here and let's just dump that into Bone Sites. Save that. Refresh our schedule page. And there we go. So now we've got a schedule page. So if I go back to, uh, let's see, I need to go back. So this was our first page that we'd set up, right? And then we connect it to a schedule page. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. Once you get your navigation bar set up, you can just copy each page and then go in and put whatever you want on that page. So like on a portfolio page, if I were to set that up, I could put in a portfolio of uh, different phone sites, pages that I'm looking to sell, or it could be, you know, if I'm an artist, I could put in uh, the images for art that I'm looking to sell. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this helps.